This is a Venture Pro video on setting the interlock dip switches on our toggle switchboards or service switchboards that we have on, on Venture Pros. So the reason that we have those dip switches is so that when you have an open closed device like a sidewall inlet, ceiling inlet, side curtain, tunnel curtain, any of those kind of type devices that you can prevent somebody from manually putting the open and the closed channels both on at the same time. So in this example, got a sidewall inlet here on channel one. If somebody flips both the open and close channel one and channel two on, they're both going to try to run. The motor will sit there and hum and get hot and it's not going to operate correctly. In the software logic, it won't allow that kind of a conflict when everything's running in auto, but in manual, you could have an issue. So here's what you would do in this case with a, a open close device on channels one and two. So we'll just swing this guy open and take a look at the, the dip switches that we have down here near the bottom of the board. Now, when we were looking at the front, one and two are to the left side, but now they stay on the hinge side, but it's really one and two are these toggle switches here, and they become the ones on, on this starting on this dip switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine through 16, and, and then the ones for um, 24 through 36 are over on the other board. So basically what you need to do is take both number one and number two, flip them up to interlock them or to make them so that they're mutual exclusive. And now once we've done that, and you would do that with any other open closed devices, we can swing it back again to look at our controller. And when we go to channels one and two, we try to turn them both on and you can only have one at a time. So even if you try to run them both, when somebody tries to do that with the controller, they can't do it. So that's basically the purpose of that. And there is there are designations on those server switch boards as to which channel they are. It's just you have to remember things kind of reverse when you open the lid and uh, try to see the tiny writing in order to identify the right channel. All right, thanks.